Yeah, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Water Commit uh, Commit Townsend Water Commissioner meeting of February thirteenth at seven p.m. Um, just a couple notes. On July 16th, 2022, Governor Baker signed into law an act relative to extending certain state of the emergency accommodations, which, among other things, extends the expiration of the provisions pertaining to the open meeting law to March 31st, 2023. Specifically, this extension allows public bodies to continue to hold meetings remotely without a quorum of the public body physically present at the meeting location and to provide adequate alternative access to the to remote meetings. The act does not make any other changes to the open meeting law other than extending the expiration date of the temporary provisions regarding remote meetings from July 15, 2022 to March 31st, 2023. Uh, this meeting is is being held um, via remote for Zoom um, and the remote link was attached to the agenda. Um, this meeting, as you've noticed, is being recorded. Um, roll call um, for uh, commissioners. Todd Melanson, present. Nathan Madela, present. Roll call of citizens and attendees. Um, Chaz, if you'd start, please. Sure. Chaz Sexton, Duranian, Selectman Liaison. Okay. Um, um, Sir, I can't say your last name. How do you pronounce that? Is it Siam? Siam? Yeah, Siam. Okay. Okay. Mr. Siam, uh, did, could you just list your name and, and your address, please? Um, 4 Bayberry Hill Road. My name is Emmanuel Monte. Uh, my wife is Emma Siam. We live on 4 Bayberry. <laughs> <laughs> good, good enough, sir. Um, um, let's see. I have no additions or deletions. The uh, minutes are um, still in process, so um, the, the, we don't have that. Um, as far as I know, Brenda, we have no specific correspondence except this appointment. Yes, none available. Okay. Um, it would appear Dave is still at the meeting because they're voting on the permit right now. Um Uh, um well what's your feeling nate do you want to start without dave present or um uh, we can try yeah if there's anything he needs to add we'll just have to um yeah because his i mean he has notes on for the for the appointment um okay if he has stuff to add and and that's known then we should wait yeah um all right, um, sir. If you would, uh, uh, Ms. from the from Bayberry Hill, um, if you wanted to start and go into you know what what happened and and why you're requesting the bill adjustment, and then we'll we'll look at the notes and stuff like that and go from there. All right. All right. Um, thank you very much. I think um, I was here a couple months ago, um, and I had to go do a little homework on. Um, on, on my lines, uh, it was drawn to my attention that the leak will be coming from the um, sprinkler system. And yes, I actually did receive a notification from your office telling me that the new uh, meter was detecting a leak. And I realized that the sprinkler system, even though everything has been shut off, you could still hear water going out of that line. So I called somebody in, but unfortunately, because it is the winter, they can't really work on the sprinkler system. So they manually shut it off so that in the summer it can be repaired. So that is where the leakage was coming from. And okay. I think after we shut it down, the um, my next month bill was totally different from, from the previous one. So he said the the notes I'm looking at. So you, um, the meter was put in on August twentieth. Yes. Um, says that um, after our November meeting, there was a, there was a leak for seven days. So you must have tried and turned something on at that point, because um, the it shows where when when the leak started and and when it stopped before that. Um, 
So I'm going to assume that the summer usage was too far back. Brenda, it was too far back to get a download of, of that time frame, correct? Um, Say again? Uh, I'm looking for that right now. I'm trying to look it up. Just give me a minute. I'm yep. getting Because if I'm looking at this right from what, what's been attached to us, it shows that there was a brief leak for seven days um, from when did it say? From October seven-day leak, um, I want to say October 20th to the 27th. That's what I see. But nothing about the leak that would, or, you know, about the time frame that the the larger bill is for, which would have been the irrigation. Um, mm -hmm. dur during when people were were irrigating their lawns, because this October, I wouldn't expect to see a large usage because pretty much everyone stops early October, so the systems don't freeze. Um, So, yeah, it seemed like he had a normal usage except for those seven days. Yeah. So, and the system was operating through the summer. Um, so I, whether it was leaking through or whatever, I don't, I, there's no way for me to know. When the meeting was when the meter was installed, it was running normally, and it was just those seven days that that it seemed to spike. Other than you know maybe like right. a little bit on the twenty eighth, but that could have been from yeah you know Thanksgiving. So that's kind of what I wanted, Dave, because I, I I wanted to see if he knew anything about the 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 usage during this time frame. If you had any, if he had any information on it before, so um. Let's see, I'm looking at it right now. Let's see, day, month. Let's go back. Yeah, so, let's see. Can you do some math for me, just so I know what we're talking about? If we... Looked like it was put in October 19th. And they had some spiky days, like uh, some days they had 169 gallons and 173 gallons. But for the most part, it looked like they used 74 gallons a day. Okay. Um, but like I said, there was a couple larger days, uh, nothing. All righty then. And then, oh. There he is. Oh, there he is. I'm Dave, sorry. Could you just, Dave Dish, could you announce yourself, please? What was that? Could you announce yourself, please, for the record? Oh, Dave is our superintendent. Okay. Dave, we're just kind of going over for Bayberry. Yeah. Did you have any usage during from the uh, records from in the summer on like a daily basis or anything like that? Mm, no. no, we hooked up the meter in September. There was no leaks. The only leak that we detected was the 14th of November the day after our meeting and we called up and, and said they had a leak the next day and, and they fixed it five days after that. So there's, I see seven day leak 10. It, I think it's October 20th to the 27th. Right. And it was the day the leak happened the day after our um, water meeting. So he said he turned or someone came over to check his system. Do, do you have any record or like um, pay stubs of the person that came over and investigated your system, sir? Um, no, but I can find the name because uh, I think it was um, it's one of the guys that um, come to my church. All right, because we normally so, that's one of the things we, we've been requiring is people showing that 
they either had a plumber come over or their irrigation company come over to verify that the the leak was in the irrigation system um and that it was fixed um that i don't see on this oh okay so um, one thing i know that is um it wasn't fixed so basically what he did was he took me downstairs yep told me to turn everything off and then there was um, there's a, a line that he's, he wanted us to listen to see if there was water still going out of that line. And there was one line that the water was, you, you could hear that water was still going through, and that was the sprinkler system. All right. So all we did was to manually turn it off at the basement so that no water goes out of that line. And he told me that I have to fix it in the summer before I turn no, on the sprinkler. That, that makes sense because he really can't do anything can't pressurize yeah. the system right now um i'd like to see that in writing that that they did identify a leak um nathan you got any questions or comments or anything so far the only thing i have is uh, you said it was the meter was put in october but i'm seeing a note here on the first yeah item in our agenda um our packet saying it was put in meter put in August 20th. Yes. Dave, can you fix that or tell me what that's all about? Cause that's what I mentioned as well. That, well, that, that would, I believe that's correct. But then you, you say the meter was put in, in October. I didn't say when the meter was put in. Okay. All I said is that the only leak that showed up, it was the day after the, the meeting. And, and we called up the very next day when we saw the leak, which we do for everybody. I, I see that, my, what my, you're saying, my, the meeting. My, rec my records indicate that on Badger right now that it, the meter recorded on October 19th. All right. That's oh, the, okay. As far back as my, my records show. All right. Interesting. Well, the new smart meter. Um. So yeah, it really doesn't show the I, date on this graph. This bar graph doesn't really have a date on it. We only yeah. printed off that month. So yeah, but it doesn't it, even say so what daily month for it November. Is. So it's daily for November 2022, and then the days are on the underneath the graph. So oh, okay, this, I see. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So why don't we do this? And not to keep postponing this or whatever, but um what i would what i was thinking nate is figure out what the tier one if we dropped everything what the tier one is ask him to pay the balance if he can produce something from someone that says in writing that you know they have identified a leak and that it will be fixed x y um i just I just wish we had readings from the summer that the the graphs. We we, we won't have them because they. No, I know it. it's too far back. I know. Can we can we have it as a professional um, receipt or or something? Yeah, that's what I'm asking for, Dave. Right. So it would have to be like a licensed plumber or a um, or your irrigation person. Um, on a slip that says that they came inspected on X date. Um, they've identified a leak in your system or a failure in your system. Um, understand in the middle of winter it can't be fixed, but it will be fixed um, as soon as, as soon as weather allows. Um, if, if we get that and in the in Brenda. Yes. Is there any way you could calculate what the the different or what's the amount that we would be abating the bill if we dropped everything to tier one? Um, could you give me a few minutes and chat for a minute? No. Yes, ma'am. Right, but you're you're talking about third quarter only. Yes. Well. Right. Yes. That's when the large usage was in, Dave. Yep. Which right. is the um, June, July, August. Yep. 
So that would be just that. So it would be the how many? Um, I'm Dave. I'm not in all those programs yet. I'm. It's going to take me a minute to get into all those programs. So we'll that, work it out tomorrow. Okay, we can work all it right, out. So tomorrow. why don't we do this? Um, it will stay on your bill. The difference will stay on your bill. We'll ask you to pay whatever the difference is. When you provide us with that professional receipt, okay. um, it, I would suggest come back to the next meeting. Um, and then the rest of it, um, the abated amount will, will, will um, um, credit the account at that point. But in the interim, so that the, the amount's just not sitting on your, your, your bill, um, whatever dropping the, you know, and that's, it, only if Nate ag agrees with my thought. Well, I, I, I can't abate it without no approving it. I can't just take. It. So what I said, we will make a motion. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. The idea would be to make a motion that we figure out what the tier one is, that number, and that's why I need the number. He pays the balance of that plus this bill, the new bill. Um. And the amount that would be abated is held until we have proof that there was a leak, you know, professional proof that there was a leak and that it will be fixed. Can I get that number for you for next meeting? So that we are going to approve it for next meeting anyhow, right? Well, I, w I was trying to get us paid as soon as uh, the majority of it is. Well, I can, I can call him tomorrow. Okay. And tell him what it will be. But I can wouldn't discuss that it. need to be in the motion? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then I got to open up all my things. Go ahead and hold continue on. Hold up. on. Um, what do you think, Nate? If we make the most, well, what do you think of my proposal? First of all, yeah. Let's um, if we move it through, a, you know, so we get that um, receipt. That's fine with me. All right. Now, if if um, I mean, it's kind of a tomato, tomato. You keep the number there and just. All right. Keep it in limbo or or pay off the Yeah. Um put the cart before Dave, the horse. I don't know. Dave, is it is it is it just in limbo or is he accruing interest on it? Is it accruing interest in sure baiting? I can waive interest up to a certain amount and I can have your permission to waive the it, rest. It'll be, of all, you. it'll be over. Right. Yeah, I that's you, that's it would, why it, either way it's this. gonna have to be a baited, you know, you're gonna have to abate it. One at a time, please. Dave, go ahead. If you abate it, you know, with the with the um, with the caveat that he produces a professional receipt, then we'll give him a number, and you vote. You just voted on. The because of, of the vote. We're getting like every other word from you, Dave. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm driving. So, so you obeyed it, and you also say that with a professional receipt, you, the interest that has occurred since that time. All right. No, I get you, Dave. Nate, I'm going to try and make the motion. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. Sorry about um, this, guys. Also, right. also keep in mind, sir, if if you when you produce that and stuff, this is a one and done. You understand now you have a responsibility to look for leaks in that system. Um, yes, sir. And, okay. I make a motion that we abate the water bill for third quarter 2022 to, to, to the entire usage at tier one that the resident will pay the balance and the abated amount will be held until the um, until producing a professional receipt that a leak or failure of his system was detected in an, in an estimated time of repair. For account number 6089. 6089. Second. 
Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Nathan? Nathan Madela, aye. Todd Melanson, aye. Um, so what that this means, sir, is pay your current bill. Okay. They're going to give you an amount tomorrow, which is the balance minus the abated. Get that receipt to them as soon as possible. And once they have that receipt in hand, that's when that will come off. The rest of that will come off your bill. Okay? Yes, sir. Brenda, you'll be able to get that number to him tomorrow? Yep. All right, sir. Thank you for your time. Um, and do you have anything else for us, sir? No, I'm all set. Thank you very much, everyone. All thank right. you. All righty. If Dave's driving. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's a Where are you driving to? You driving to the office or home? No, I'm going home. By the time I get to the office, it's just I I, I try to get back on as soon as I could. All but right. We uh, we we got voted it. Uh, Stormwater's approved. All right, that's good. That was the last one, right? That's correct. Alrighty. Um, well, it, it will be sent to the central register on Thursday, but we'll get to that. All right. So there's nothing at uh, an item three, four. Uh, item number five: liaison updates and reports. Mr. Duranian. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are all set for the twenty-first for your presentation. All right. Okay. The um, you are slated. I don't know if they Brenda did. Um, did they send you a time for the appointment? No, they have not sent me anything. All right, I'll check on that for you. Um, in regards to that, um, Dave, where? Oh, just let me. I'm sorry, Chaz. Yep, Dave, just make sure the time time bond has that date and time. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know until just now. Good enough. Let them know now. <laughs> yep. Um. All right, Jess, go ahead. Um, outside of that, that's that's all I have. You guys have touched upon the – I got um, – uh, I had uh, several phone calls in regards to the water on uh, Timberley Park in regards to the, um, I guess, the flushing of the water system at, over at Deluxe. The, well, it's not it's, – it's the fire flow test. They, they have yeah. to do them. So it's right. – I mean, we have the same problem when Sterilite does it. Yep. Let's no, see. I just I I, no. I was fielding those calls for you. Yep. You know, saying I I understand and I'm right here, so I had quite discolored water myself. No. Did any did anybody share a post saying this was going to happen or? It was. We did. I, I remember we talked about that. Well, yes. <clears throat> I'm never. I on did. Facebook I did. I did see it, Nathan. So okay. It was on oh, Facebook good. and it was on our website. Right. Yeah. In yes. fact, people actually pulled that post up and posted it on the, cause there was a complaint and someone said, well, we all knew about it when they put it up. So. But, also um, I did speak to Harrison and if they um, subscribe to the emails for the, all the town offices and they do it for the water department, they'll receive an email for it as well. Yeah. So I am one. trying to let people know that. There the other a, thing, Dave and I had talked a while, uh, not too long ago. Um, part of Timberley's problem too is when they built that, there are an absolute ton of dead ends. And when they did, they didn't put the hydrants at the end of the road on most of them. So you have probably sometimes as many as eight or ten homes after the last hydrant. And until we get past, you know, we get everything operating normally – those homes are going to be the worst because there's nothing we can do. You can't, there's not a hydrant you can flush that will pull the stuff that's been building up in that portion of the line out and past those homes. We t I forget how many we mentioned, but at some point we're going to have to install hydrants at the end of those lines so that we can, we can actually clear the lines. I, even if um, we weren't waiting on building a plant, that would be the only way to really truly fix these systems. And I don't, Thinking about it, I just uh, I think they they did the 500 feet and just didn't they they didn't think about the end of the system and I'm, why I don't know the system probably wasn't under 
the water was always going one direction. So it was, wasn't something that they had to deal with in the past and stuff like that. And it's frustrating for someone who knows systems to see that in, in, you know, I don't think any of us like hearing that the water that's going out in the system is discolored more, more than anybody else. Um, so, all right, that ends um, the liaison um, updates, I guess. Um, one so thing we, on that one is the Board of Health is going to uh, have it on the agenda tomorrow. Correct. Um, I have a, a letter to go to them, but it's not – the other thing they need to understand, it's not their – it's not their purview. We meet the DEP regulations. DEP sets and controls the the health regs for drinking water on a public water system. Um, I checked with DPH. DPH does not get involved. Um, they can ask questions. They can come before our board and ask questions. Um, and, you know, um, I'll, I'll write a statement basically saying what I just said tonight um, about, you know, that the system is safe to drink. Aesthetically, got no argument for me. The water at times is severely discolored. Um, part of it's in the way the system is set up. And the other part is, is what we're dealing with the PFAS. When you shoot, shut a, a well off that pumps over 600 gallons a minute and you're trying to make it up with a bunch of different wells that pump maybe 200 or so gallons a minute, it's going to disrupt the system. And until we can turn that main plant on and get things working in one direction, it, it's going to be a problem. And I don't like it any more than anybody else. If we had even before the plant. Say again? Even before the plant's on. Even before the plant's on just having the water line going out and connecting it back in a mile away is going to force it in one direction. So in that note, Dave, when you're not this year, cause it's already, it's too late, but starting to look at your five-year capital plan. I think that might be a priority. We look at is getting those hydrants and getting them installed at the end of the systems at the end of those. I've already lines. started that. Good man. But I just the the sooner we can get those people and get that system operating like it should, the better for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I was made aware of that, and um, you know, if they have if they want to have if they have questions, I wish they had asked to be on our meeting. Um, I get that they're getting phone calls like everybody else about the discoloration, but it is aesthetics in. in um, I don't think anybody in this town is happy about it. I don't think we're happy about it. I know the operators aren't happy about it. Um, any operator I've ever known takes a lot of pride in producing the water for their systems. Um, if there was an easy solution, I, I think we would have done it a long time ago. Um, right. And if there's a point of order, they need to come to your meeting and it's not, they don't, they don't have subpoena power. So they, you, you're right. absolutely right. They should come to talk to the commissioners here. So um, I, I will put that letter together. I'll send it to Brenda so you can see it, Nate, before I sure. send it. Yes. All right. Um, let's see. So superintendents updates and reports. Uh, 6.1 PFAS and Harbor Trace treatment plant. Dave, take it away. So very simple. Um, we got the last permit from the stormwater. We got DEP's permit last Friday. And right now, on Thursday, we are uh, filing with the central register uh, to be on next week, next Wednesday for the treatment plant. The following Wednesday will be the water lines. And they will, um, the water lines will open on March 31st, and the treatment plant will bids will open on April 7th. Okay. And that's what's going on right now. Dave, once those bids goes out, how long do they have to return? That, then, with, then it goes to the town meeting because it's going to go over the 14-9, and it's 30 business days for the 
to award the contract. Okay. So when do you expect those? When are the bids due back? Did you say? I'm sorry. The 31st of March for the waterline and the 7th of April for the uh, building. Those are when they're so expected. So it's well back. within the 30 days. Yep. It's, thir it's 30 working days. Okay. Uh, not, um, which is six weeks. Dave, um, I watched some of the capital planning. Did capital planning agree? Yes. What, you were, we, what okay. we did is we put we put a big number out because it, it they can approve a big number and we we're going to go down. But yeah. if we don't put enough in there, they we can't go up. Yeah. Well, no, I knew that. But so capital it, planning committee, the capital planning yeah, they, committee didn't have a problem. No, they asked the questions. Okay. I thought you did really well at that meeting, by the way. Oh, thank you. It was I, pretty simple. I, I gave them all the information. I right. agree. Um, are you guys planning on having a groundbreaking or anything like that? Uh, I would like uh, to. That that's not up to me. That's up to you guys. <laughs> um, I would like to. I think. I think. Um, we've gotten some help from Senator Cronin. I I, I think. I think having a public display of progress and getting this all fixed would would help a little bit. There's been we haven't been able to do anything. Having an actual visual evidence that we are starting the process that 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 it you know we there's light at the end of the tunnel so to speak. Um I think would help us. I just um I've never done one. I've never organized one. Um, Nathan, are you or anything like that? So, I want to say I had an idea to name the bridge that we for the Main Street pumping station, but that never happened. Well, we can still do that, sir. Um, but um, we we got a, a, a wellness room to name after Nathan. Um, so why don't we? I've had what, some experience with the dedication of Harbor Trace. All right, that's hope, about it. Why don't we um, raise our hands or something so we're not sure. jumping over each other? Um, what I would say is I'm all for it. I don't, Nate, what's your opinion on having breaking ground on, on the plant area? Well, let's not spend um, extra money. No. So, I mean, I'll, I can paint a, a shovel gold and <laughs> we can, uh, we can all take a scoop out. And you said something about, I don't know if you wanted a guest. Well, I, I was let's just not, thinking, let's not spend any money. I mean, this no. is this is serious well, business it, here. It, yeah, it wouldn't be spending money. It would be a it would be a mark to this is when we're breaking ground and it's a start of a project. I think mm -hmm. it would be good for the townspeople to see that you know you invite town officials, you get you know the public if they want to show up. You just go explain this is a groundbreaking, this is what we're doing, this is how long it's going to take approximately. You have um, somebody from the newspaper take a picture and that's it. I think we also, I wouldn't mind, I think, um, calling Senator Cronin and, um, you know, he's been a lot of help in certain areas on this, um, mm -hmm. you know, and going forward there's always the potential um, for earmarks um, we heard that the leftover ARPA have been wrapped into the budget and they're going to work it into um, PFAS. So maybe that's something we can talk to the the senator about. So I, I wouldn't be opposed to that, so to speak. Um, and if we have the senator there, then, then the newspapers will come. Um, so I, I, you know, let's, let's try to uh, get as many cooperative participants in this as as needed and i agree with nate this isn't this isn't something we spend money on this is this is a pr event usually the engineer companies they have the the nice shiny new shovels to let us borrow for the day or, or whatever we need um but i definitely think that some sort of visual evidence that we are finally starting to get results and where we need to go this um 
This is actually in municipal terms, light speed, um, but it definitely is not fast for normal life. Um, yeah. So I think I, I would be for it so long. And I agree with Nate. I'm not, I'm not spending a dime on it. Dave, go ahead. I'm hoping that oh. besides the newspapers, you include TCAM. We can video, set up a sound system, et cetera. Sir, sir, yes, sir. Um, you are what we have instead of a local newspaper. So free of charge. Free of charge. Um, yes. Always, always <laughs> free of charge. So I I have I have no problem with that. Um just let us know when and where and we'll be there. Listen, I don't even know when or where. So <laughs> as soon as I know, you'll know. Um Let's Let's put an item on the agenda for the next coming, one of the next coming meetings so we can just next, let's, quickly you know spend what, let's, 15 let's not minutes. Fix, Nate, that's an excellent dot idea. Brenda, please put it on the agenda for the next sure. meeting. Well, we'll it's in. already underneath the treatment plan, so we're just bringing it up then. Sure. I like ah, it. A, a subheading breaking ground, just so we don't forget about it, because we tend to, or I tend to get wordy, let's be honest with you. So we don't want to go blowing by it. Let's, I, I, I'd want it highlighted that we're, we're talking about breaking ground. Great idea, um, Chaz. Say again. I said, great idea, Chaz. There you go. Sometime uh, in June. So 6.2 Warren articles. Warren articles. Oh yeah. They're, I don't have any Warren articles except for the one for the excess money for the what the treatment plant needs unless you or Nathan have something. I don't. Are, are you saying in addition to your the, the Warren articles that you had for the special town meeting, Dave? Right. The special town meeting is, is going to stay the same. And it's if and right now the only thing I, I put on it additionally is the treatment plant. Yep. And that's it. Okay. All right. So, all right, let me go. That's Keep that. It's simple. Start the project. All right. Dave, you all done? Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, I have the generated contract for you to come in and sign. Uh, both of you. Okay. And I will take this time again to thank the town for the ARPA money for those generators. Mm -hmm. um, that's the idea that we don't have backup, automatic backup power to our wells is somewhat frightening. Um, so thank you for that. I, I got to say, I think I think the town and the water department have um, made very good have been very good cooperative partners in in a lot of this and maybe it takes an emergency to to start that process so i do appreciate um the relationship that has been um fostered between this board and the the board of selectmen um don't always agree um i don't think we always have to but with the conversations have been professional polite and i I just wanted to take the time to say that. Um, the other, so let's see. Um, my computer's being dumb. Um, all right. Uh, 7.1 um, office updates and reports. Then CNA schedule next board of water commissioners meeting. Nate, what's your next month look like? The next second month. Mon the second Monday? Is the 13th of March. 13th Ooh. looks good for me. Hold on. It might not be for me. I might be going to see my I'm going to see my son in Tucson. And you I'm really the not first? Gonna hold him. <laughs> hold on, let me get my calendar up. I can't. My phone's not working. Uh let's see, calendar. February, March. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Tucson on the thirteenth. The sixth or the twentieth? Either one of those okay for you, Nate? Um, I'm liking the sixth, unless that's too early. No, no, okay. it's okay for me. All right. If we need to have a supplemental on the twentieth yeah. or the twenty seventh, we can always do that.
Thank you for changing that, Nate. Are we hearing the six? Yes, yes. sir. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Beautiful. Chaz, will you have another meeting that night with the board of selectmen? On the sixth? Yes. No, we don't okay. meet on Mondays. We meet on Tuesdays. Oh, that's right. I'm so used to us I'm used to meet on Tuesdays. <laughs> um. All right. Planning board, but I'll work it out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, review and sign end of month uh, reports and bills payables. Nate, can I have a motion, please? Well, Mr. Chairman, I move that we review and sign end of month reports and bill payable warrants out of session, sir. Second. Motion has been made and second. Can I have a roll call vote, please? Nathan, Nathan. Madela, aye. Todd Melance and I, motion has been made and um, passed. Mr. And Mr. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I move we adjourn the water commissioner's meeting. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Roll call vote. Nathan Madela, aye. Todd Melanson, aye. 